So anyway, them take me out of the car and two of the men drag the girl behind some bushes while one stand up at the back of the car with me and the gun fight for Oh my god, what big girl? Don't no, make me no. 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 At one point, the, 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 the guy that stood up with me was there taunting me and said, Run! Run, man, run! Yo, Bix, just run! Just run, Bix! I'm bloody up in that this class that did I get. Within the wall structure of the justice system falls one of the most imperative cornerstones, the police force. Hi, I am Naz from Preside Studio, and thanks for joining me for the closure of this disheartened story. Now please remember to like and subscribe to my channel. When an incident or a crime is reported to the police, it is first properly recorded in detail by an officer, after which, depending on the crime or the nature of the incident, officers who are on patrol will investigate, or if it's a case where the crime requires further investigation, the matter is then sent to the CIB slash Crime Investigation Bureau, where a thorough investigation is launched. After a few minutes, the two men came back with the girl and then the other one. When they came back, the other one went. No! 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 The other guy came back with her you now. They ordered us back in the car. So we go back in the car and the car drove off. And then when the car drive off you now, the car stop. And the, the driver tell the girls to come out. This is when she start bad. So she don't know where she did. And the one at the front came out and pulled the door and said, drag her out and say, eh, say hundred dollars you find your way. So your place say me I go take your letter out Your yeah, my girl, come out here Come out me not know where me yeah, there Come out here Come out Come out here Come out here Pull her out had no remorse, none whatsoever. I wonder how these people sleep at night. How? How do they sleep in their bed? After all this, the night was yet to be over. Mr. Irvin had a bank card and they needed what was on it, or they needed what they could get from it. So they drove around until they found an ATM. They had Mr. Irving withdraw some money. But what he withdrew still wasn't enough. Back then, withdrawal limit was pretty low. And they knew that these hooligans were one step ahead of Mr. Irving. So, they drove all the way to Ocho Reyes, not just to find an ATM, but to also burn time in doing so. When we reached Ocho, we 
it was about 11 11 30 and back then it was a uh, um esso gas station the park up in the esso gas station so reach yeah man we reach out the car okay. reach at ochi and then go around at the back of the gas station and park beside that tanker that one of the trailer they will carry the gas and park up beside it they were waiting on the day to change over because you know say once you reach your withdrawal limit for that day you can't draw no more money till 12 o'clock I told you these criminals were ones that were hit at a minute after 12 it was a brand new day so they proceeded with their plan One man was telling me, say, lock up yourself in the man. But then again, I said, I don't make a dish, them the glass, the care of bullet, bro. After I hit you, the money went out back to them and went back in the car. So how much money did you get from the school shops? 15,000. 15,000. 15,000. And then when I went back in the car now, the, the, the driver told me that, said, he said that bigs are killed with the kill them. Yeah. Because you don't see face already. But the only reason we not kill them. I can you cooperate with it and give you the money. So the next guy up front now come out and pull the door and say for run. So you never listen to that. No. <laughs> no I can finally breathe. No, we can finally breathe. Nevertheless, I'm very sick to my stomach of what these criminals did, especially to this young lady. One thing I know for sure, whatever we sow, that we shall reap. Now, why am I dressed as a police officer? You must be wondering. As a matter of fact, why did I dress as any other character that I did? One, I dressed as the victim behind bars. Two, as a judge. And three, I'm now a police officer. You will find this out as soon as we wrap, wrap up this last part of Mr. Irving's idea. After they let Mr. Irving go, he found a police station in Ocherias and he reported the incident like a normal person would after such horrific experience. They took his statement and they gave him this advice. Okay, the police, they, they took a statement from me and said, all right, when you reach over, you, you, you make a report where you, where you, the, the station that is near to you. He did just that the following morning. He reported the incident in Linston, but then they sent him somewhere else. Probably they were following protocols. Who am I to say? So Linston said, all right, you need to go make a formal report at Spanish Town because it was out of their jurisdiction, so you need to go to Spanish Town. So we said, all right. Mr. Irvin complied and went to Spanish Town to report the incident. Seems like complying was the better luck for Mr. Irvin. But his luck of complying was about to run out. Can you recall in the first episode when I said the universe must have been plotting against Mr. Irvin? 
because when you look at the chain of event that led him to almost lost his life was in such precise order but in this case was it the universe again or was it the people who were part of the justice system that were supposed to do their jobs properly in order to protect the innocents was to be blamed things was about to go sideways for this man after such tragedy such ordeal this man's life was about to get a hundred times worse father carry the spanish town and to 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 make the report they took a 10 page witness statement from me the day when i went to make the statement i saw the girl the girl that had gotten raped i saw her in the station that you went to make yeah because i was there first and i was there and was sitting for them to take my statement so i saw her walking and she just walked past me went around the back I don't know, they took her statement and then they called me and took my own. So they said they are taking me into custody on suspicion. Suspicion of what? Of the rape. Of, of, the rape. Of the, yeah, so they, 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 they told me that they are charging me for robbery. Robbery? Kidnapping, rape, illegal possession of firearm, and decent assault. All of them. All of them. Me. me for, and I'm me going to make the report. How would you feel from a nerve-wracking experience where you've almost lost your life to criminals? To almost immediately behind bars for a crime that you did not commit? Whatever statement that young lady gave must have been pretty strong. But this is where the justice system fail right across the board to do their jobs properly. This was what he said the judge and the prosecutor had to say before sending him away to prison. The judge told me that she was going to give the girl the benefit of the doubt. Right? Okay. So she, 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 all of the charges, whatever evidence I had, she was turning them down and she had given the girl the benefit of the doubt. Right? So after, after she charged me, after she told me that, um, me I got prison. prison. Me I got prison. She, so she so said. Tell us, yeah, the judge said the judge that said, yeah, she yeah, found me guilty. She found me guilty. So yeah, me I got to do some time. When she said that, when she said that she found me guilty, I was standing in the courthouse and I tell her, up until today, me don't know how me no drop dog in there. Me need them feel weak, right? Me, I I stood there and. Uh, the judge in reading she said that it is it is rare it is rare nowadays we find somebody that has never been entangled with the law before right but she said they me charge them severe so she have to me have to do some time so for each charge she tell me for, for the rape you had to five years for the gun you had to five years but they had three charges them, three years each. After the judge said that she found me guilty, right, the prosecutor came to me and the prosecutor, now the prosecutor is the person that is defending the girl. The prosecutor came to me and the prosecutor come and she said, Mr. Irvin, this is a foolishness go on. Mr. Irvin, this is a foolishness go on. All you need to do, just appeal the case. When you go to prison, just appeal it, they have to win their case. The last part did something to me. Honestly, it did something to me. When you go to prison, you must appeal your case. Really? When you go to prison, you must appeal your case. Why not do it now? Why not prevent me from going to prison? Do your job now and prevent me from going to prison for a crime that I did not commit. You clearly see that I did not do the crime. Because you said it yourself. 
but then you're telling me to go to prison and do some time and then appeal the case man get the f out of my face the system messed up it, 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 messed, it messed up, up. Overall, it messed up yeah man it messed up man it, you know i'm nobody for, for, for back here yeah? so all right you know so i'm gonna right. investigate this okay. there's no investigation done to say all right let me see if him actually do this them say him do it let me see if him actually do it right, right? There was no proper no, no proper investigation the evidence, evidence that they took there was no they did not um care for the evidence in the proper way because i mean for a crime like that right the first lawyer even though he did not do much he said all right for proof say innocent just do a dna I said no problem, come in now, I'm not going to do so. Right. Just do a DNA. I did the DNA and my DNA was done. They took a sample from the girl, right? And my understanding is that they, the police waited 14 days before they sent in the girl's DNA. So what was the purpose of requesting the DNA test? What was the purpose? Anyway, watch this. We're going to play the third party on this case. We're going to break it down a little bit. So just please stick with me. We weren't there that night when the incident took place, right? Only Mr. Irvin, the girl, the criminals, and God knew what really took place. But let us look at it. Let us try to break it down a little bit since we only get one part of the story, which is Mr. Irvin's. So let us just look at it a little bit. First, let, let us look at it from the woman who got rape perspective. All right. She got into a car that she thought was a taxi. Before they took advantage of her, she quickly realized that these men weren't passengers but criminals. Now, she wouldn't have known that Mr. Irvin was also a victim of what was going on because he had a gun pointed to his side. Right? But after they drag her, after they take her to the bushes and drag her and raped her, was she unconscious? Or was she unconscious during the whole thing? And the reason why I ask this is because I'm thinking that if she was not unconscious, she would have noticed that it was only three men of the four men who were in the car that took advantage of her. She would have noticed. Unless she was unconscious. But further on down, when she gave her statement, she didn't say that she was unconscious. So let's rule that out of it then. How can she not notice that there was only three men out of the four men who were in the car that took, took turns and raped her? <sighs> now, let us look at it from the criminal justice system part of it. This is where the dressing up of the different characters come in play. Because each of these characters are a vital part of the justice system. So let us look at it. The victim behind bars. Sometimes a person who set out to be the victim is not necessarily the victim. And vice versa, the offender. But this is why the justice system is in place to root out and separate the weed from the grass and in doing so the second character comes in play the judge the judge is a vital element of the criminal justice system one of the role of the judge is to determine whether the evidence that the parties want to use is illegal or improper. Now, according to my understanding, she never even considered the evidence that were brought into this case. In truth and in fact, if she did, 
then the requesting of the DNA test suggested by Mr. Irving's lawyer would have most likely showed that Mr. Irving hadn't done what the girl was saying he did. Now, the final character, a police officer. Earlier I said the police force is a key cornerstone in the justice system. Reason being, it all started from the police and their investigation team. Now, if they don't execute their jobs properly, then the ones who are responsible for crimes and violence are not going to be punished the way they are supposed to be. My personal view, I think that Mr. Irving was another innocent who suffered the brutal hands of the criminal justice system of Jamaica, like many others. Thanks for watching and please consider to subscribe and leave a comment. Goodbye. I wrote a book about my experience. Um, the title of the book is Prescription to Prison. This book, however, goes further into details to talk about the, the life in prison, the, 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 what I went through on a day-to-day -day basis. And it also goes as far as to say the outcome of, the, of, the, of this case, what really happened in the ending.